Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. You've probably seen advertisements, commercials from gurus and people telling you to buy penny stocks and you can make trillions. So today, what are, what are these penny stocks? And should you invest in them? But first, a quick word from our sponsor. A credit union that offers Bitcoin? Give me five. <laughs> For a limited time only, get $5 of free Bitcoin through the Southland Credit Union app. Enrollment is quick and easy. There's no hidden fees, and you can conveniently fund Bitcoin purchases directly from a Southland account. Claim your free Bitcoin today by going to thecollegeinvestor.com slash Southland. Bitcoin accounts and services provided by NIDIG, not NCUA insured. Restrictions apply to Bitcoin bonus. See terms. And don't forget to check out thecollegeinvestor.com slash Southland to sign up. Okay, so penny stocks. As you build your investment portfolio, there are plenty of assets to consider. And one of those many investment opportunities comes in the form of penny stocks. The lure of penny stocks draws in many investors. But this high-risk investment choice isn't the right fit for everybody, so let's explore exactly what penny stocks are, plus whether or not this investment option makes any sense at all for your portfolio. First of all, what the heck is a penny stock? So, although the name implies that a penny stock would be just a penny, that's not often the case. Instead, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, classifies penny stocks as any stock that trades for less than four bucks per share. Penny stocks are often found tied to companies with small market capitalizations. Most aren't listed on the NASDAQ, but some are. If you want more penny stock opportunities, you'll find them via over-the-counter OTC transactions. Sometimes, penny stocks are referred to as micro-cap stocks. Advantages of penny stocks. Let's take a look at these. So every investment opportunity comes with pros and cons, and when it comes to penny stocks, the risks typically outweigh the benefits, but there are some advantages, including, of course, low price point. You can start investing with a minimal amount of money, with a limit on how much you put in. This could be a useful learning opportunity too. And there's a potential for success, and it could be a big success. Many penny stock investors do lose big time, but... Others knock it out of the park. So there is that, at least. Now let's talk about the disadvantages. And they do outweigh the advantages, as you'll see. And here are a few of them. Risky. Penny stocks are often very risky investments that move up and down with little to no warning. <laughs> Volatility. Penny stocks have a highly volatile price point. The low price point of penny stocks means that movement in any direction can have a big impact on your shares. Little information. With micro-cap companies, there's less information available about most of the companies tied to the stocks. Additionally, there's often very little history to look back on with newer companies that often come into play with penny stocks. And there are no minimum standards. When trading these kinds of stocks in niche marketplaces, the standards applied to regular stocks just don't apply here. In addition to the high risk, there are many scams in the penny stock industry. With that, you'll need to be on high alert for potential scams when making a penny stock investment. One popular scam tied to penny stocks is of the pump and dump variety. With a pump and dump scam, a scammer will buy a bunch of penny stocks and push demand for the stock by pummeling investors with false information. After the stock rises to a certain point, the scammer sells or dumps their shares for a major payday. So, Here's the question. Should you invest in penny stocks? It's legitimately possible to grow your funds through penny stock investing. Take a look at a dude named Tim Sykes. He's one investor who seems to have cracked the penny stock code. <laughs> he turned $12,415 into $1.65 million in just four years. His story shows that penny stocks can be lucrative but it also shows how much work is involved in growing a portfolio full of penny stocks. You'll need to be prepared to spend a substantial amount of time learning the ins and outs. Plus, 
Be ready to monitor your stocks on a regular basis. If you aren't prepared to commit the time or energy required to do well with penny stocks, then it's probably a good idea to pick a different investment strategy. But if you are ready to give it a try, I recommend getting started on a small scale. Don't invest without learning more about the process. And don't commit any funds that you cannot live without. So for example, usually a good idea to wait until you have an emergency fund and pay down high interest debt before jumping into investing. Now let's take a look at the penny stock alternative. You know, when it comes to investing, you might not feel comfortable with penny stocks. And that's okay. If you were drawn to penny stocks with the lure of low minimum investment, that's still possible with other types of stock investing. Specifically, fractional investing allows you to start building an investment portfolio with more traditional stock assets. A few platforms that do allow you to invest in fractional shares include Stockpile, Public, and Stash. How to invest in penny stocks. All right, so if you think this is right for you, here's how to get started. First, create a budget. Decide how much you're willing to invest in this volatile asset class. And then, go to a major exchange. Although you can find penny stocks on a ton of exchanges, it's best to stick with a reputable exchange, like the NASDAQ. Invest in learning first. Before you buy your first penny stock, learn what makes a good penny stock investment. Don't just jump in without doing your due diligence on a particular stock. And then, as you get started, take things slow as you learn the best practices for your portfolio. And here's the bottom line. All right, penny stocks might not be the best fit for your finances unless you're prepared to carry a considerable amount of risk for short-term investment paydays. But the good news is that there are plenty of ways to build an investment portfolio. And if you're ready to start investing, take advantage of our free investing resources. We have tons of them at thecollegeinvestor.com. Follow us on social media too because we'd love to get to know you and help you along in your journey as well. Just search for The College Investor and you'll find us. Thanks again for stopping by today and we'll talk to you again real soon.